Last month, you were warning that actually the oil market was getting tighter. Where is it now? Uh, it is very tight now. And uh, I think what we have been saying since March, that we will be tightening of the uh, oil markets towards the end of the year, is uh, unfortunately, I should say, uh, uh, materializing. And this is not a, a good news for the global economy. In fact, not only the oil, but also coal and natural gas prices also going uh, up. And I can uh, tell you that uh, it looks like expensive energy is back. Expensive energy is back at a time, at a bad time again, when the global economic uh, global economy uh, loses momentum. A currency crisis in major emerging uh, countries and trade disputes uh, among the major economies. So uh, high oil prices is not a good news uh, for the global economy, both for importers, yeah. consumers, but I believe also uh, for the exporters. If not today, maybe tomorrow. Okay, but so you think it's tighter than a month ago, if I'm correct? Uh, definitely so, uh, because of the demand is still very strong. Yeah. And uh, the, we have been losing oil from Venezuela in big uh, uh, amounts, and also Iran uh, so, uh, is going down. This is crucial. When does it start hurting demand? Is it in the fourth quarter? I, we are going to soon, uh, in a few days, releasing our uh, monthly oil market report. And uh, if not in this report, uh, I'm sure in the next year's report, my colleagues may well uh, give a second look that it's going to hurt the demand. We will see slower demand growth because India, for example, one of the, uh, the major drivers of global oil demand growth, their economy is hurt uh, badly. Yeah, but, but so you, you're not seeing signs of a slowing demand yet. Where do you think you'll see it first? I think emerging countries, and I would put, for example, India, uh, China, Asian countries, India current account deficit is badly hurt uh, here. The fiscal deficit of India is doubled. And in fact, leave aside these numbers, the, the current uh, the, uh, Indian domestic prices are equal to $100 uh, in terms of the, uh, the um, uh, rupees. So it is a, because they lose a lot of uh, value. The, uh, are, are you satisfied in how Saudi Arabia and its allies are responding to this? Should they be putting more oil on the market to make up for the lost production? We are losing production from uh, Venezuela uh, uh, big time and uh, Iranian exports are go, uh, going down and the demand is still uh, strong and we really need uh, more oil. What Saudi Arabia did is an excellent move uh, coming from about 10.7 million barrels per day but we need uh, more oil uh, to come to markets, to comfort the markets, especially in the fourth quarter this year.